What's up, YouTube? I'm um, back again. Show y'all that window real quick. I just buffed that and it looks a hell of a lot better. But uh, the video for today is this clear coat's coming off this mirror. The same thing with this back here. The wing. Don't look like none of that's showing up because of how uh, bright the sun is. That's getting pretty faded. I don't know. Might show up, might not. So I'm going to show y'all how to fix this. All right, where the where the clear coat's missing, you don't want to. You just want to barely, barely sand it. See how the suds are turning red? Okay, that's all you want. That's all you want. All right, down here with a clear coat. Still good. Just scuff it up. Wind's blowing like crazy too. Be careful. So, I don't know if that's showing up or not, but right there, it's like a don't let your pad get, don't let your sandpaper get dry now. Keep it oiled up. I got this uh, mirror from a junkyard. I don't know if uh, it was a perfect match when we got it. I mean, the clear cut wasn't coming off that bad. Whoa. Down here I'm going pretty good because I don't want... Trying to get that that transition more the clear coat is and more the what the clear coat's missing. Trying to get that done. Is this gonna look a uh, hundred times better? Yes. Is it gonna look like it was never there? Maybe. It's probably looked pretty good. All right, starting to burn through right there, if you can see that or not, I don't know. So, that's it on that end. You don't want to wear the paint down. But see, that's what we're going for. When we're all said and done, that's what we want it to look like. It's all nice and smooth now too, anyway. All right, that's that. All right, so uh, I'm gonna do the exact same thing I just did to that, to this wing. Um, I'm probably gonna get a piece of screwdriver, or a piece of screwdriver, a piece of plastic, like a screwdriver or something to scrape all that uh, clear coat right there off before I do this, okay? Like, see that 
clear coat coming off. Try to get as much of that off as I can before I sand, wet sand it. All right, y'all. Repeat the same thing that we did to that, to that, and then I'll bring y'all back to show y'all the rest. All right, I tried a few things. This is the best thing I found. Little razor blade. Um, right there, I hope that's showing up. Be careful not to dig in the paint. Notice I'm not pushing down on it real hard. Don't worry about these little any these little tiny scratches that we're doing neither because we're gonna wet sand it a little so that'll get most of them scratches out and what we don't get out these scratches are so small that they'll be, get buried in the clear coat. Okay. Don't try to force it. Just basically let it glide. And we're not really worried about these big chunks. All we want is the little flakes. See that big flake right there? That's what we want off. So I'm going to continue doing this until I get all these flakes off. Then I'm going to wet sand it. Bring y'all back when I get done wet sanding. All right, YouTube, we got that painted. Looks pretty good. Still got to cut and buff it. Got to cut and buff it back. It's got a lot of worn spill on it. Wing. Still got a couple flaws in it. I mean, y'all seen it, man. It looked like crap. It uh, it's a hundred times better now. All that stuff was peeling right there. Still got to cut and buff it. Clean them headlights the other day. That one didn't come out as clear. Might have to hit it again. What I do on the headlights is I wet sand them if they're factory. I wet sand them, and then I spray clear coat on them. Once I get them wet sanded clear, I spray clear coat on them heavily. Put the clear coat on there heavy, real heavy. And then when they turn yellow again after, I don't know, these lasted almost a year probably, then I started hazing. A little bit darker than that. Actually, mine, mine's about as dark as these. I did these at the exact same time, my Honda and that Honda. But, uh, once it starts hazing or getting a little dark where you don't like it, then, uh, then you just wet, wet sand it and then buff them. And you can do that until the clear coat's gone, and then you just put spray more clear coat on it. Set once once you get down to a certain point, you say, okay, that that clear coat's probably almost off. Wet sand the hell out of it, and then spray it heavily coated with clear coat again, and then you're good to go again. So you're not sanding the light every time. You're actually sanding just the clear coat, and just buff them right out. That's not bad for spray can. Y'all can see a little, we're all going to have to buff, cut and buff it, right there especially. But that fin, that, that fin came out good. Yep. There's more clear coat problems on this car. Big piece right there missing. 
I could take that off and splack it a couple times, but I may still, I don't know. Mama don't like her car to be looking raggedy as hell. About time to get a new car anyway. I only paid $300 for this car, but uh, bought it for $300, needing a transmission, put a transmission in it, and been a good car ever since. Well, I've replaced everything in it, actually. But it's it, it running-wise, shit, it can't beat it. I'm good on that. I, I put, like, three coats of clear on that. I put four or five coats of clear on the wing. We're good to go. Little red pickles all over the car. I don't know if that's from where I was flaking it off or what. Y'all happy? Hope that helped y'all guys out. This is a 2001 Honda Civic, and that seems to be like almost dead on the color. Fire red. Premium clear from Dollar Store. I think that's uh, two, two twenty nine, two thirty nine a can or something like that. But yeah, we're gonna cut and buff. Not cut. We're gonna buff the whole car. We're gonna cut the mirror, cut the wing, and then we're gonna buff the whole car. Um, because this all looks good. But right here. You can't really tell. But that's kind of hazy. I don't like that. I need to put Mama's rims back on here. We went up to, uh, not Atlanta, up there to Georgia and took her rims off, put them on there because they're more highway. These tires are, I don't know, 300 bucks for all four. Her uh, 17s are 100 bucks. 100 and 127 each so a lot better to put these on there and roll out of town but all right peace y'all hope that helped y'all out um cheap way to fix pill and clear coat um like i said no it's not a professional job um no it doesn't look like i paid 400 dollars to get my wing resprayed but i mean uh it sure as hell as beats looking at pill, pill co or clear coat peeling off. Um, we gave it a 2020. 20 mile an hour, 20 feet away. She looked like she good. Definitely turned happy about that mirror. Um, I'm gonna go to the junkyard and get a uh damn. AC compressor for this. Got to go to. I'm gonna go to Gainesville because around here that people want 130, 140 bucks for it. I can put 10 dollars and 10, 15 bucks in gas and probably 15 bucks in this. But I can put about five dollars worth of gas in my car and go down to Gainesville and back. Um, and it's only 35 bucks for the AC compressor. So look out for a video on that, how to get your air to work. But uh, all right, peace.